I forgot who told me this, but they say sometimes your dream your dream will be challenged. Mm, How okay. bad do you really want it? For sure. You know what I mean? Something comes up, it's you know, blindsides you, and you mm -hmm. might more be like, man, I should give up. I had a an interview with Rome, Rome mm -hmm. Flynn, and uh, his thing was he was working in a pawn shop, mm. and he was a singer, but he was working in a pawn shop, and that was paying the bills. And, right. and one day somebody came in a pawn shop, and they was just like, yo, man, this is a cool little, little thing in the, you could be in. He was like, what? Right, and he was like, "I think I could walk away from the pawn shop." Look at him now, movies, yeah. TV, whatever. Yeah. So a lot of times, when we get confronted for the people that are watching on YouTube right now, when you get confronted, just take a beat. Mm -hmm. Just take a beat. Think about it. Think about how you feel about it. Do you feel like? Do you feel fear? If the fear is overwhelming, make your choice from the love of right. what you want to do. Right. That's what I do. I always think about how does it make me feel my career? How does it make me feel what I aspire to do? Mm -hmm. I get lit up. Yeah. So this right here, just a, a moment. Yeah. I'm out of here. Out of here. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's one of those things where I, you always got to understand that going after what you want in life is never going to be easy. Correct. And so it really doesn't matter um, how easy someone else has made it look or it, it doesn't matter how many times you have success that that thing there's going to yeah. be some type of obstacle and so you get used to overcoming those obstacles and preparing for those obstacles just like you prepare for the success just Absolutely. like you ready to pop a bottle and celebrate sometimes you got to be ready to sit down and, and re um, uh, reinvent something or kind of reconstruct what it is that you're doing to make sure you get to where you got to go and um, obstacles yeah you don't want to be as afraid of them it's nothing wrong with being a little fearful. I used to have people tell me that and being a little nervous, yeah. you know, because that kind of keeps you on your toes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, once you overcome that fear, I took my son to uh, California Adventure this past weekend, oh, right? You, man, you should have talked to right. me. I love that one. <laughs> that would get me open. I turned six years old right. every time I go there. And so we, jump, we go out there, <laughs> and uh, it's this ride called Gardens of the Galaxy, and he's afraid to get on this ride, okay. right? So, because it, you go way up yep. in the sky, you drop right. down. And I'm like, listen, man, once you do this, you're going to feel so good. You're going to feel like a new man once you accomplish this, you know, get over this fear. And so he did it. And when he got down, he's smiling. You know, he's screaming while he's on there. He's squeezing, holding on to my, <laughs> to my pretty baby, to my wife. Ah, he's screaming. He's trying to get up straight. But as soon as we get down, he's smiling. I'm hitting in his leg. Right. And I said, that's what that feels like. And so for me, anytime I decide to push past an obstacle or hold my peace or, or you know, not cut somebody out that day because I may really wanted to, you overcome something that you knew was, um, you know, at, at some point could have held you back, you know. And so once you get over that, it's like, oh, I can accomplish anything, whether that's a ride or whether that's uh, street drumming in the street.